Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up Eclipse, install Java, set up code completion, and install Java libraries. You guys have asked for how to do this exactly on a Windows computer, and today I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, the very first thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser and type in Java JDK. You're going to need that. And then you're going to come down here where it says Java SE Development Kit 7, and you're going to click on it, and then you're going to see all this stuff, and you want to scroll scroll way down here and we can just click on accept license and that's great and then you're going to see Windows 64 right here and you're going to come over and you're going to click on it and download it because Eclipse needs the Java JDK then at the bottom of your screen you're going to have to give it authorization to download this of course you want to do it or just click on run and then you have to give it permission of course and then it will install and then you just have to hit next a whole bunch of times it's up to you whether you get the demos and samples and all that stuff I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and you can see right here exactly where it's going to install program files Java JDK 1.7 click next and it's gonna take a couple minutes to install everything here it's pretty quick and snappy though and then just click next it's all you're gonna do click next over and over again and then it's going to say it's been successfully installed which is great click finish and you do not need to register anything so don't worry about that now I'm just gonna bounce over here make sure it's all set up up and here it is program files and then you can see here Java and then you can see here Java JDK and then I'm gonna come over click on start and I'm just doing a couple extra things click on all programs and accessories over here and then I'm gonna open up the command prompt and then inside of the command prompt I'm just gonna type in Java dash version and you can see Java version 1.7 is installed so that's good okay so we have that all set up now let's go get Eclipse Okay, so I use Eclipse Indigo just because I'm used to using it. The newest version is called Juno. So if you want Indigo, go and get this by just typing in Eclipse Indigo. It's a little less buggy for some Python things I do. So I just use it that way. And then I'm just going to click on Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And then over here, Windows 64-bit. And then I'm going to download it and just open it. And there's Eclipse. Just double clicked on it and I'm just going to double click on Eclipse here and then whenever you double click on Eclipse you're going to see this click on extract all and then just hit yeah that's fine extract okay and after that's done extracting this folder is going to open up you're going to double click on it and you're going to then click on Eclipse which is right here and run it there you are you're almost done this is going to pop up this is going to be your workspace where you're going to store all of your code so if you ever need to find it it's in users whatever your username is and workspace click ok and then you're going to see this screen just click over here where it says go to workbench and here is everything package explorer is going to hold all of the files that you create one thing you're not seeing here on the screen you can look over here see there's java that's where you're going to be able to add all your other different plugins for different languages you can click on window show view maybe you want to see the console click on console consoles down here I often in my tutorials put the console over here so now my console is over here now to set up Eclipse just to make sure everything's all set up we're gonna go in here and click on window and then we're gonna look for preferences which is right here and then I'm gonna just zoom in here and I'm gonna click on Java I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna click on compiler and then over here you want to definitely check compiler compliance level and we have it set for 1.7. This is where you can change the different other versions if you'd like. Then we can click on install JREs right here. And here you're going to see that, it, yes, it automatically found your version of Java. So everything should be working great. These are all things you want to check. If it was not there, what you'd have to do is click on add, standard virtual machine, click on next. And then you'd have to find the location of Java. But you already know that it is working. So we're not going to do that. So that's what you're going to do if nothing is showing up here but like you just saw it should all work now if you want to set up code completion again you're gonna go into Windows and preferences just like before and then you're gonna see this and then you're gonna click on compiler right there and make sure your compliance level is set to 1.7 which it is and code completion should be working as well okay so now that we have that set up I'm gonna show you how to install Java libraries and then we can test to make sure everything's working now this time I'm going to install the Apache Commons library which is very common to use and it's just at commons 
dot apache dot org forward slash l a n g for language and another forward slash and you're going to see this guy right here you're going to scroll down here where it says release information and click download 3.1 and this stuff's going to pop up and then you're going to look for commons lang and you're going to unzip this guy and then i'm just going to click on open there is your library and i'm actually going to copy it and i'm going to go to my documents folder inside of here and i'm going to paste it inside of there so that i know where it's located and you can see it's going to paste everything inside of there that's just in case you accidentally delete it and there you can see it's installed inside of there now we're going to set it up to work inside of eclipse so open eclipse back up again then what we're going to do in package explorer is click with the right mouse button new java project and just give it a name um sample java whatever click next and then click on finish that all works then we're going to come into this project we clicked on we're going to right click it and we're going to go new we're going to create a new folder right like that click on it and then the folder name for this i'm just going to call it lib and then click finish down here just come over here where we have sample java and right click on that and we're going to come on down here we're going to click on import and then you're going to click on general and then file system and then you're click on next and then you have to find the directory where you saved everything that was in my documents and there's my name and there is my documents and there is the library that we actually want to use and we're just going to click on OK. And then we're just going to select all of these guys and hit finish. And there you go. Now everything is stored inside the library folder right there. And it's all ready to use. Okay, now if I want to test everything to see if it's installed, what I'm going to do is go to this package, Sample Java, and then I'm going to click on Source, and then I'm going to come over here, right-click on it, go New, and then I can go Class, click on that, and then let's say I just want to call this Sample, and I'm going to click Finish. See where it is? It's inside of Source, Default Package, Sample, that's where it's supposed to be. And then inside of this guy, if I just want to test some stuff, just go public static void main string arg c code completions working. And then I could just do a simple hello world. And if I want to execute the guy, just come up here, hit on that button right there. And hello world prints out over in my console. So I know everything's set up. And that is how you set up Eclipse and Java and code completion and a whole bunch of other different things. So please leave your questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.